Islamist terrorists set off car bombs in Jaramana, a predominantly Christian town near Damascus, in late July 2013. These terrorist bombers are the so-called Syrian rebels supported by President Barack Obama and Senator John McCain. Obama is supplying the rebels with arms and training to overthrow the secular government of Syrian President Bashar Assad. In Jaramana, the car bombs killed 10 civilians and injured 66 more, including children. Nearly 100,000 Iraqi Christian refugees who fled their homeland after the U.S.-led invasion overthrew the secular dictatorship there in 2003 live in and around Jaramana. The Al-Nasra Front, funded by the government of Qatar, and the Islamic State of Iraq also used car bombs in Christian areas of Damascus in July, killing many civilians, including children, and injuring dozens. Barack Obama and John McCain, Islamist friends, don't care who they kill or maim in their war to overthrow the secular government of Syria. The same month, they beheaded a priest and still hold several Christian clergy captive, including two bishops. These bloodthirsty Islamist thugs are fighting jihad to obtain their 72 virgins in paradise by killing infidels. America should not send any support to these terrorist killers. Whatever weapons America provides will be used first against Christians in Syria, then against Jews in Israel, and eventually against America. The Syrian rebels are part of a global war against the West by Islamists. They seek the destruction of human rights and the establishment of Sharia law worldwide under a caliphate. Tragically, the Obama administration has allied itself with the enemies of freedom and of Western civilization. You must urgently contact your congressmen and senators asking them to stop President Barack Obama and his Senate allies from arming the Islamists of Syria. I'm William J. Murray, Chairman Religious Freedom Coalition, Washington, D.C.